welcome back to the Brew Crew Podcast. I'm here with my guys, Alex Rosas and Ewan Jay. Lake. Tony. How are you guys doing? Good. Happy 2022. 2022. Welcome to the new year. We took a little break, a little sabbatical, and we're back. But we're back full of energy and highly caffeinated for the new year. Exactly. Uh, today we're going to be talking about coffee subscriptions, what should you be looking for. Um, a lot of times you're looking for something you can kind of automatically send to your house or just for the convenience or maybe you don't have a good local roaster that you that you prefer to frequent. So um, we wanted to throw out some options for coffee subscriptions for folks. Um, but first, we're going to talk about what's in the cup. Um, Ewan, what do you got there? This is a... Uh, Luminous Coffee does a, I'm trying to remember what they're called. They do like uh, mocktails, mo- yeah, mocktails and this is a soda, right? Like flavored soda. Yeah. Coffee, coffee soda. With coffee. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, so I had had a bunch of them and uh, they've been great. This one's a, I have no idea what Yuzu juice is. Yuzu. Yuzu. <laughs> yuzu juice. Vanilla pods, vanilla extract, brood arabica, hibiscus boot water. It sounds like it could be so. a tasting note. Tastes Thank like you. taste of yuzu juice. Yeah, they do. Luminous. Hold that up close for audio on the pour, please. <laughs> A, uh, coffee drinking ASMR. Yeah. Hmm. That's good. It's good stuff. It's, it kind of tastes like, you know, like when you get to the inside of a Tootsie Roll pop. Mm. It's like a little bit of like the the, the moment that the hard shell like meets the, the caramel. Like the sweet flavor, but then you get like chocolate. It's kind of nice. Wow. Yeah. What. If, what a tasting note, the moment you get to the last lick of a Tootsie Roll. Yeah. Just what are you drinking, Daddy? Um, I'm drinking a washed Columbia, uh, brewed with a, a special process. Um, I'm going to need some help explaining, but basically it's it's pulled on the Decent as a two-minute pour-over, but in a portafilter. Yeah, we're trying a new profile on the Decent, which is the Filter 2.0. It's like a pour-over option uh, using the Decent, so it's good. Nice. Yeah. So we've got, delicious. And we've got some other coffees up here, you and you. Yeah, we did a, a friend and I did a quick trip down to Portland and uh, picked up some beans from Proud Mary while we we're down there. The nice. Sweet As bag. So that was, oh, so was kind of cool, very sweet like as, brew. Australian Kiwi and the Daydreamer, which is a washed process Columbia and a honey process Columbia. So I've been drinking that this week. Quick, quick, note, quick note to our viewers, this is Ewan's first proper trip to Proud Mary. First so, proper trip. I've been mean, once before and it was COVID restrictions, so it was only outdoor dining and I didn't get the, didn't get the full Proud Mirror experience. So this time I actually got, got to go inside and it was really cool. Huge bucket list item. <laughs> Already checking them off. New Year's resolutions, got any? Maybe it's to get a new coffee subscription. We're gonna start with trade coffee, I believe. Yeah, so we kinda, I mean, there's a lot of subscriptions, right? So we were kind of like, what are the top ones? Which one do we use? Which Jake will talk about that's like, kind of our bias um, and then yeah like what are they all about so trade so the idea of the subscription is they send you coffee on a rotating basis usually these are kind of on whatever schedule you want um, so trade coffee have you guys tried trade I've never tried it actually I've tried um, it loved it came quickly <clears throat> roast date was fresh yeah all, the, all my boxes were checked a couple of years for Christmas gifts people have given me like a trade subscription gift card uh, so I've ordered a few times for that. Yeah. So I've never done trade. I've known people that have done it. Heard good things. They have a pretty decent kind of offering of roasters, right? So I think probably the thing that we look for in a subscription is what maybe ease of use, but then also do they have good coffee offerings? Like you know, is it gonna be Tony's coffee or is it gonna be you know <laughs> something really good like Huck or Dune or something like that? So uh, trade has a lot of good options. From what I can tell, you can do it like by the bag, or you can do it in bulk. So you can order multiple bags at a time. Several bags at a time. Um, there's kind of like two options you can usually do with this with the subscription. One, you can have them surprise you. So if you really don't even know where to start, like people will ask me, like, "Hey, what bag should I get?" Like, you know, you have a reference. But if you don't, you're kind of just like, "What do I get?" So these so these companies will <coughs> essentially pick for you. And um, most of the time you can have like a yeah. configure type option, right? Where you choose, mm-hmm. I like either this kind of flavor or if they know things like if you're doing espresso or pour over and they'll customize the kinds of bags that they send you, right? Right. Yeah. Um, 
And then in terms of, so this is where it gets a little bit tricky. So obviously it's a subscription. So it's like, usually you have to pay monthly for something like that. Um, what I've noticed is with trade, so like if I'm just looking at their kind of checkout page, you can kind of pick your frequency, how many bags do you want? Um, but then you're gonna pay per shipment, which is like if you do a single bag, it's gonna be a little bit higher of a price. Whereas if, if they're saying, hey, you can do a three bag bundle and you'll save $15 off of that, um, you're essentially kind of paying up front for three deliveries. So they kind of like, that's kind of, that's kind of their model is they lock you in to you know, X amount of bags and they kind of tease you with like the price. So, you know, trade, trade, trade is like, it's kind, of, it's kind of like the standard that I think a lot of people use and know about. And I think that's, it's not bad. I just went on here and I selected, you know, light roast, surprise me, I want something wild. And it gave me a Ethiopia Sadama RD, which looks like maybe a natural by Equator Coffee. Um, great bag. Yeah, looks like a cool bag. You know, I, I, I do see Equator. I feel like they're a little bit more mainstream. I've never really had them. Maybe that's just my perception of them. But yeah, I mean, trade's great. You can't go wrong with it. Go for the bottle deal. Throw the extra bags in the freezer. So quick pros and cons of trade. Uh, well established. A bunch of people have, have yeah. been using them. They're great. They seem like they have a really wide array of, like a wide selection of good roasters, right? Mm -hmm. It's quite a few. Yeah. Um, and easy. You know, you can, you can like, if you're having a party, you can order a three bag bundle and make a bunch of coffee for people. Right. So you can change how much you need on a regular basis. Yeah. Yeah. So that's trade pretty straightforward. The other one I'll talk about is beans with a Z. Um, now these guys to my knowledge are, this is Breville, which mm. everyone knows Breville USA, you know, the, the, the espresso machine we all start with. Um, so the cool thing about this, and in my opinion, I think these guys from a selection, like absolutely crush it. Mm. Um, the things like, so I'm looking at their, their offerings page, they have AKA black and white, uh, Camber, brandy wine, they have Onyx on here, Dune, color coffee, Huck. I mean, like you, it, all of the big names kind of in US coffee, Olympia coffee, methodical. I mean, they have them, right? Would you They're say here. that it's the, the pro user subscription for the starter pack user espresso machine all in one company yeah I, but i also think that so they're hitting in with like you know someone i mean i, I don't want to group any of these brands in with like lower quality or great coffee but like cafe ladro eh, they're going to be a darker medium kind of roast it's not very experimental like a cup of coffee that's what you can expect but then if you go down more traditional roasters. yeah more traditional roasters versus like Proud Mary is on here, which does stuff from traditional to super wild. So yeah. you have a broad spectrum and it'll it'll fit your need whatever you want, right? So I think from the offering, these guys like, in my opinion, I would I would do beans. Awesome. However, the catch is when you go to check out, they you can buy a single bag, but you're essentially paying shipping on the single bag. So it's like if I just went to that company anyways. So if I went to Onyx and just bought a bag of Onyx from them, kind of the same price. So how they get around it is they say, oh, if you buy two bags, we'll send you two bags of coffee and it's free shipping. But then we get into the issue of now I have two bags of coffee and the one bag isn't going to get used and it's going to go, well, stale because it's going to be a month later or, you know, three weeks later and it's three weeks off roast, which for some people might argue is fine. But in general, you want as fresh, the coffee as fresh as possible, right? So I think beans has so much potential, but they fall in that space of making you get two bags at a time. Right. So it's kind of like, I wish they would make that a lot easier, but that, that for me is kind of a deal breaker. <laughs> so I'm like, eh. if I ever want to try those roasters, you know, I'll go one off and do like, you know, go to Proud Mary or order. So outside of ordering two bags or more for free shipping, do they also do a subscription option? Um, I think that is their subscription. Okay. I don't have to double check, but I think it's, so I think it's you can select what you want, or they also can surprise you too. Okay. Um, oh, cool. They've got like a, give us your preferences and we'll send right. you a rotation. Cool. Yeah. So I think they have this thing on here called the barista's choice. So you can go in and select, you know, what type of coffee do you prefer? How are you going to brew it? Um, and then how many bags you want. So like if you just look on here, it says two bags is the minimum quantity. And it ships every one, two, three, four weeks. So if you get two bags every week, that's pretty crazy. I don't know anyone who goes through coffee that quick. So, yeah, 
That's beans. If you're watching this, beans, change your model and you have me. <laughs> um, so trade beans. I feel like the other approach is, I mean, you mentioned some already, just ordering directly from a roaster that you really enjoy. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of amazing roasters, obviously too many to name, but some that we love. I mean, Proud Mary, Luminos, they yep. also do a subscription option, which is cool. There's uh, Luna, which is based in uh, uh, British Columbia, yep. Vancouver, yeah, DC. Vancouver. Um, Onyx Coffee Lab, they, they roast amazing beans. I've often ordered a lot from them. They can oh, also do a subscription option. So I guess other than using a, uh, what would you call it? Provider or a service like Trade or Beans, mm -hmm. which source from a whole bunch of different roasters and you subscribe from them, the other approach would be working with an individual roaster that you really like and setting up a subscription option with them. Right. And in theory, I mean, I don't know the behind the scenes, but I imagine they're getting 100% of the profits, which especially... Yeah, a great way the, to support them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, the other thought that I had around that too was um, like supporting a local cafe. We've got a really great cafe we love right around the corner, Five Stones. They awesome. source great beans from great roasters. Mm -hmm. And so what a cool way to be able to go and buy directly from them to support your local cafe. If you have a good specialty cafe close to where you live. Yeah. That's right. great. So I guess the like the pros and cons on that, I've, we've got a, a close friend that uh, sets up a subscription with Onyx Coffee Lab, for example. He gets the, the pro for him is that it's exactly the same bean every week or every month, however often he orders, and he just likes the same beans every time. And he doesn't have to worry about changing his grind setting and dial yeah, dials in the grind, different kinds of beans. Perfect. And, yeah. So that's, that's super easy for them. I guess the downside is that then you don't get access to maybe as much as the variety of different kinds of beans from different roasters. Sure, yeah. Because you know, if you get new beans, then you have to redial it in, and then sometimes that can take a whole half bag, as we've talked about before. So yeah, yeah the, the consistency is it's kind of, it's kind of nice. Um, but yeah, I mean, we, I feel like we don't have a lot of shops like a, over here at Five Sons that do carry kind of rotating roasters in the area, mm -hmm. so it is, does make it a little bit hard. So usually, but we do have a lot of local roasters in kind of the area. So it's like, okay, I can go to them to get their bag. But a lot of these coffees that like trade or beans offer are, you know, all around the country that are kind of like fun to try and just kind of broaden your, your horizon. And you know, it's fresh. And that's, I think the big, yeah, that's right. the big thing that they're all kind of hitting on is like, you know, usually I think the way it works is you order and then they send the order to Let's say it's Onyx. They'll send it to Onyx. Onyx will roast and then ship to you. So it's not like they're sending the beans to a warehouse to get yeah. stale and then double, it goes to Double you. shipping it. Yeah. yeah. And so it's kind of like a, a way to connect Onyx or anyone else to the person who's drinking coffee who might not ever know about them. And now it's, you know, a way to, to try new stuff. So, yeah. The other cool thing about an individual roaster too, or going to a cafe, is that oftentimes they'll have some sort of program where if on a certain day you buy a bag of coffee, you get your latte that day for free, or something like that, where you know they're kind of incentivizing you, racking up points. You know, if you have a great local cafe or roaster, for sure support them. But and you can try it too. Like they'll yeah. have they'll have that coffee you're gonna buy on mm, on, yeah, on like on pour espresso. overs. You can say, hey, can I try this? <laughs> brewed perfectly without wasting half a bag of gas <laughs> exactly, in. Yeah. You don't have to make such a big investment. Yeah, they have it all dialed in. So, yeah, so that's, those are all great options. I mean, at the end of the day, as long as you're getting coffee you like and, you know, it's from a, a company that relatively is, is doing good things and, like, paying farmers decent wages, which, you know, like all these coffees we have on the table, we know that those companies do. Mm, um, yeah. So what we're saying is don't buy Starbucks. Um... <laughs> But, yeah, I mean, you're going to get good beans regardless. So, And then lastly, which, you know, the unofficial sponsor of... We're, we're, we're <laughs> a little biased. Real. Unofficial, yeah, we're, we're biased. working on true sponsorship. But, we're a little yeah. biased. Um, all three of us, I believe, have had or currently have uh, subscriptions to Bottomless Coffee, which is a Seattle-based startup. They've taken the, the subscription model and tried to automate it. So they have a... Um, a weight-based scale that connects to Wi-Fi at your house, and when your bag of coffee gets close to empty, they'll ship you a new one. Um, so we've got a couple of uh, examples of those scales. I actually heard about Bottomless when they Jake were getting, was a true <laughs> early adopter here. Getting started, true early adopter. They were 3D printing their scales, and the 
hardware was all janky and it was awesome. I actually went and interviewed their founder. Um, but yeah, I mean, you take your scale, set it here. This is not the scale I use anymore. <laughs> it's just a, a, a To be clear, they've point. come a long way since, since long this way. one. So. Yeah. And here's, the, here's the new one with their logo on it and it's manufactured a lot better. There's charging and all that stuff. But um, yeah, it, you know, when the bag depletes, it triggers the next shipment so that it arrives before you're empty. So you'll never run out of coffee. It's bottomless and you can choose whether it comes early, right on time, or just a little bit late, so you have lag time. Um, and you can have multiple scales, so maybe you have a, a decaf subscription and a caffeine subscription, or a wild coffee, and then your daily driver. Um, so, a lot of mm -hmm. cool flexibility. They, from a pricing standpoint, um, there is a subscription, but you can refer people to um, get that kind of paid for for free, and then, um, you do pay shipping, but then you get free shipping if you have more than one scale running. So like, it's kind of like a similar model to a lot of the other people. If you've got more than one scale going or more than one subscription, it gets cheaper. Um, but the big advantage I've always seen is that I don't have to go to the store. I put plug in my preferences and I can get on rotation or get the same coffee, but it just shows up at my front door just in time. I guess the problem that's also it's partially solving is like, Maybe you, you're going through your beans faster than you normally would because people come, come around and you brew yeah. coffee for them and you run out of beans faster and you forget that you need to hit order on your like roasters website to order yeah, exactly. bag, or mm -hmm. you go through faster than they would normally ship to you. So this way, to your point, like you don't run out. Out of sight, out of mind. Yeah, it's yeah. great. It can sit in your cabinet or wherever. Mm -hmm. And there's two, and like Jake, you have it pulled up here. I think you, you potentially do it different than I do. So... Um, so, uh, so Jake, you have what? You set your preferences, right? And then I've, they kind of surprise you every time. Yeah, so I've set, I want to order from Olympia Coffee and I, a single origin subscription. Um, and so they'll send me a different single origin every time. So I do dial in, but usually it's close to the same range because it is mm -hmm. a single origin coffee. So if I'm jumping from like a Colombia to an Ethiopia or something, it's a bit of a big jump on the grinder, but um, not... Not too terrible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's right. Great. So then what I do is I actually will handpick every coffee that I get, which they actually added in a new feature for custom rotation. So I can add in, hey, these are the next three coffees I want to try. Mm, cool. Um, Was that something they added recently? Yeah. It just came out like... Like a Spotify yeah, queue. You like know? a Spotify let's queue. Get the, <laughs> let's, get the, let's get the playlist jumping. Yeah. So, so that's what I do. So I usually will... And it's cool, you can filter all the roasters that they have, you can filter for, you know, region, origin. So you can actually go in and hand pick, okay, I you know, I know Olympia Coffee is coming out with this new coffee that I want to try, so I can go and add that to my queue. Um, so I kinda like to take that approach just so that I I don't know, I guess I'm picky and really specific on what I want to try. So I like that ability that they give me this whole catalog of coffee to pick from, and I can go and just add it to to what I have next. So I think right now I have that was just shipped, Olympia Coffee. It's like an anaerobic Columbia. So pretty pumped to try that, and that should be that should be good. But I mean, their roaster offering is it's not as stacked as Beans. I will say that, but they do have a lot of I mean local roasters because we're from you know Seattle area, so they have Olympia Coffee, Camber. The other part um, that I feel like works so well with this as well is you get access to all those different roasters, and you can kind of choose based on your preference. But aside from the small monthly subscription, a few dollars a month or whatever, mm -hmm. it's not much, then you get free shipping for any of the bags that you order, right? right. So like you're getting one bag at a time based on when it's going to run out, mm -hmm. but you get free shipping no matter which roaster you're working with versus having to pay shipping if you pay individual orders with a Right, roaster. right. Which is, you know, I feel like if I look here, like, you know, two to three bags a month, that's $10, $15 that you're saving in shipping. So. For sure. sure. Yeah. Shipping's... Yeah. Can be expensive. I feel like the only challenge with this, I'd love to get, I don't know, I think it, it works super well for you guys. I use Bottomless for a while, big fan of them. I think they're doing awesome stuff. The challenge for me specifically was how it fit in with my workflow. So, because I enjoy trying different beans, and also my wife only drinks decaf, so I'm changing between decaf beans and regular beans, which means I find single dosing or weighing out my beans for each individual, uh, you know, grind or extraction that I do to be the best workflow for me so I can change beans really easily. But that kind of, 
has a challenge with a bottomless approach because the idea is that you put your bag back on the scale. Right. Um, so I kind of ran into a bit of a challenge with that. There were some ways around it of just like putting my single doses the Weber stack. Works, the whole platform mm. on there and loading it up with Right, like putting my single doses on top of the scale. Because you essentially take <clears throat> this bag and you dose, you know, what, 250 grams into individual containers, similar to if you were to pour it all out in the hopper. So it gets problematic because then when you do that, it's, it has a full bag one day, and then once you dose it out, it says, oh, Ewan's out of beans. Orders him another, orders one. another one. And you can delay the order, but there's not an issue. Like I had that issue when I, when I, had, when I did the hopper and I got a new grinder and filled it up and it ordered it and i did actually ask them i said hey so like in this scenario which like i'm very aware of how bottomless works but is there a way to like get it to function to kind of work for you mm -hmm. if you do dose it all at once maybe there's like a button that says like you know hey i did the hopper but it goes against the model right because it's trying yeah to it's about it's using like the algorithm to detect hey jake's going to be out of coffee in three days right Order. Now, and I feel like I'm probably outside the norm. Like that's mm. not that's not <laughs> right. necessarily normal for someone that has a bag that then each time weighs it out when they do a pour over. Perfect approach. It uses an algorithm to work out how quickly you normally finish your bag, and then orders it ahead of time. Mm -hmm. So the only the only workaround would be to yeah put your entire um, stand of all of your pre dosed coffee, have it empty, tear out the scale, fill it so that it knows every time you pull and use. An individual it just would be a lot of extra work right yeah so I mean I I get that I the, definitely get it. the upside is it's so easy I mean you can text for support they'll, they'll you can they can set up a message it'll they tell you when it's auto when ordering yeah, support has been pretty incredible yeah, yeah so you can just say oh delay that no I'm still finishing my bag it's just off my scale like they text you and let mm -hmm. you know yeah day before. Um, the other time, you know, I paused recently for over Christmas because I had the Onyx Advent Calendar coming in. I right. cannot believe we haven't talked about this yet, but we were so excited <laughs> when it was launching. We've now all completed our Onyx Advent Calendar and it was awesome, but I was, you know, I had coffee dedicated for the whole month of December, so pause my bottom of subscription. Um, you could also just leave your full bag of coffee on the scale, let it go stale, but that's mm -hmm. um, easier to just finish your bag and hit pause or, or schedule hey, I want the order to resume on December 27th, you know, or something like that. And you can use your own container too, so if you don't want to keep it in the bag, right. you can tear it out to zero, and then the scale with container is zero, mm. and then you can put the coffee in there. But, yeah. So, I mean, overall, though, I mean, pretty good. Yeah, awesome product. Probably, awesome I've been liking it. And they're, they're always adding new coffee roasters too, so they'll send out like a... At least once a month or so, they'll be like, hey, here are the new roasters we've exactly. added. So, yeah. Yeah, it definitely, I mean. So, and yeah. the real big benefit for our listeners and viewers is that, you know, either my referral code or Alex's, we have to decide <laughs> which one will be in, in the bio after this post. Yeah. What are we doing here? Posting both <laughs> and they, they choose or? or <laughs> I don't know. Well, we'll, we'll find we'll, yeah, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll find it out. Yeah, we'll, don't rock. worry. <laughs> so, if you're from America, that's rock, paper, scissors. Paper, scissor, rock in New Zealand. So, um, cool. Well, that's all. You guys I think know. That's it. Yeah, quick tour. Yeah, I so think three great options yeah. trade, beans, bottomless. I think either way, the takeaway is if you're buying your beans from Amazon <laughs> or you're buying them from Starbucks, there is a far better approach. Right. Use one of the three links down below. <laughs> yeah, if you if you bought the Sign Amazon coffee, what's the one? It's like the Death Wish coffee if, from Amazon. That's been sitting like, in the warehouse yeah. for if you buy that, nine months. This is for you. So. Roasted in 2017. Yeah. This will be a big improvement for your life. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's all. all Stay right. tuned. We got more stuff coming down the pipeline. See you on the next one.